Okay guys, in this video I'm going to be demonstrating the Rudiger Row using a hand warmer, or the contents rather, of a hand warmer. I'm sure everybody's familiar with these guys here. Uh, the contents are basically cellulose, iron, water, and activated carbon. And once you take these out of the package and they're exposed to oxygen, they heat up. And that's known as an exothermic reaction. Well, once these guys go cold, the iron powder on the inside, well, that basically rusts over. And uh, rust works exceedingly well <laughs> with the Rudiger Row friction fire method. Now, how I came up on rust is back when, years back, I used to dabble in pyrotechnics. And rust, or iron oxide, is a common oxidizing agent used in pyrotechnics. So you can see why it was an easy choice for me to use with this method because it's very sensitive to heat and friction and it's a great oxidizing agent. Um, you can use the contents fresh right out of the pack when them hot with the Rudiger Row. It's just that uh, I like using it when it's gone cold and also you can get multiple uses out of just one of these packs you know so don't toss these out and give this a try guys. I could get dozens and dozens of Rudiger Row embers out of just one of these packs. I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate now. And I've got my cotton here, like always. And it's going to take a little bit of the rust or the iron powder that's rusted over to pour onto the cotton. Like so. Take my time here and roll it up. few passes forward here to make sure that it's compacted and I'm going to go for the ember. There we go. Should have one. Fantastic stuff. It just works so well. I'm actually going to take my time, take this to flame. I collected this tinder bundle when it was still wet out here, so bear with me. This may take a few seconds. There we go. And it's trying to catch fire. But, like I said guys, this makes a, a great accelerant to use with the Rudiger Row. Give it a try and see what you guys think.